A teacher-student relationship is indeed an interpersonal one with both content and relationship dimensions. This statement is firmly proven to be true in Matilda, a published story by Roald Dahl, written in 1988. Matilda is about a young girl who was heavily neglected by her parents, Harry and Zinnia Wormwood. Matilda wants more than anything to have a friend like the people she reads about, and especially wants to go to school, but her parents continuously deny her requests. When Mr Wormwood exchanges a car for Matilda's acceptance at Crutcham Elementary School, Matilda is ecstatic because she will finally get the chance to attend school. While present, Matilda has a one-of-a-kind teacher, Miss Hunt, a sweet and caring teacher who highly prioritises the happiness of her students. Miss Honey is gifted in her ability to create a classroom climate that is supportive and welcoming of all students. This is a large contributing factor to the rapid development of the couple's relationship. The first interaction between Miss Honey and Matilda lays the foundation for their focal relationship in the story. Matilda's first impression of her teacher is very positive. And this is crucial because the first impression can often dictate the strength of the relationship between a student and their teacher. Throughout the movie, the pair share many interactions, but none are as significant as the one in which Miss Trunchbull's house. It is during this interaction that Miss Honey reveals the truth behind her rough past, including the death of her parents. This is when Miss Honey tells Matilda how her interactions with Miss Trunchbull, her aunt, tainted every experience she can remember from her childhood. By sharing this tormenting story with Matilda, she is showing how stories have the power to develop a student-teacher relationship. After hearing this story, Matilda's trust in Miss Honey is obviously strong, and she begins to recognise what Miss Honey is like as a person, as well as a teacher. Thus, this interaction, although quite frightening and traumatic, is an integral part of the story and crucial for the development of their relationship. The final distinctive interaction between Miss Honey and Matilda is at the end, when Miss Honey adopts Matilda, and they move into Miss Honey's father's home. During these couple of scenes, Miss Honey and Matilda both use a combination of verbal and non-verbal communication that conveys a sense of closeness. The use of this communication showcases the most extreme impact that a positive student-teacher relationship can have, as the audience has shown that the pair provided, provide each other a family and a loving connection. In the Australian Professional Standards for Teachers, it clearly states that teachers should be able to create and maintain supportive and safe learning environments. This ability is well and truly in Miss Honey's teaching toolkit. For example, in her classroom, we can see that there are colourful posters and artworks hung up on the walls. In addition, there are beautiful drawings on the blackboard above vibrant cushions on the chairs and flowers all around the room. These elements of her classroom contribute to the creation of a positive learning environment and are further emphasised by Miss Honey's ability to establish and implement inclusive and positive interactions to engage and support all students in classroom activities. For example, in one of the scenes, Miss Honey will ask the class a multiplication question and the whole class will respond with the answer, promoted in promoting inclusive education. In the Code of Ethics for Teachers in Queensland, it states that a teacher should demonstrate care by committing to students' well-being and learning through the practice of positive influence, professional judgment, and empathy in practice. This statement is strongly echoed in Miss Honey. She shows the audience time and time again that the well-being of her students is of utmost importance to her, and she mirrors the concept of overcoming societal barriers to deliver equitable and fair education to everyone who sets foot in her classroom. Miss Honey is a prime example of what a teacher should be like in terms of their ability to care for their students and make them feel supported and appreciated in school. And I hope that I can carry on some of her qualities in order to create a positive learning environment in my classroom as this will allow me to create positive and mutually beneficial relationships with my students. Thank you.